Charles and I set for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup as we get a peek some of the stars in today's game. Well, will they be stars? Will you be a star? We'll find out. Let's play. On to get us started now, the kicker, Chris Boswell. And we are underway from the City Beautiful. That'll be taken in the end zone. And look at this. Right away, a loose football. And this is picked up by the Bears. And they are going to take possession of the football inside the 15 at the 14. And a great spot to start this drive from here. They come out here in the eye. Now the former Oregon man. This is Kenyon Barner. And he goes backwards here. Losing yardage back to the 16. That's going to go as a loss of two. And it'll be second down. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Hey, here we go. Watch out for me. Cloud, cloud. Back, 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 back. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. Throwing a Stafford. And oh, not only did he drop it, he dropped it in the end zone. They don't want to waste this outstanding field position on this opening drive as they come up on third down. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Kenyon Barner, a 15-yard touchdown run. And the Bears have taken the early lead. Solid job up front. Really just a solid job all the way around to get that one in. Yeah, that was well executed, wasn't it? Well blocked, well run. End result, six points. Touchdown. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. That's fielded in the end zone. And he will take it back only to about the 13-yard line here. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these team special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. 22 yards of the pick up there. And that'll be good for Baltimore first. Down. They dump it off to Lynch. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. It's a gain of five. And it'll bring up a second down. That was not a completion that results in a highlight video. But at the same time, if you have those kind of completions all game long, eventually one of them might turn into a highlight. They'll wait to throw on second. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Now a play fake here on first down. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. 
pretty nice coverage there, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, hands, a little bit questionable. Again on second and ten at Telway. And Rudolph has it left side. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. How about the timing on that one? Well, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. All right, now, look at All right, here we go. From midfield, Elway. Left side here to Sanders. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. And on display right there, the arm that made John Elway a lot of money. And that's going to leave a mark because when he throws it with that much force, one of the best arms the game has ever seen, one of the strongest ones, it does leave a mark. It had, they, they actually called it the Elway Cross because you could see the imprint on a player after he caught one of those bullet passes. I like that one, partner. They go back to back with excellent gains, and really it shouldn't be a surprise who they were throwing the ball to. He's their best guy. Yeah, we knew that they would get him involved early. They're doubling down on getting him involved early. Don't be surprised if they'll come right back to him again. They haven't shown the propensity to be able to stop him. And the eighth play on this drive coming up. On second down, Elway. Throw left side, completion to Rice. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. On the handoff, Lynch. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. They go play action here on first down. Can't find anyone open. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. So much of this game is focus and concentration. And whenever I see guys running the in route, I know that in the back of their mind, they're always wondering who's lurking inside that might put a big hit on them as they try and catch the ball. He was trying to get it there to Vernon Davis, the tight end. Third down here. And this seemingly endless drive continues. On third down, Elway. Flush to his right. He can run for it, and he will. It'll be a gain of six, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Well, partner, nothing comes open here, so he decides to escape out of there, and he doesn't pick up a first down, but he does gain additional yardage to set up a possible field goal attempt if they decide to go that route. They'll break the huddle here and go for it. This is three down. And they're going to at least line up to go for it here on fourth down. They'll try and throw for tries for Rice intercepted. A great read and accelerating and off he goes. He's at the 40, past the 20. And they will score a pick six for Bears down. So they go on fourth down. Not only do they not get it, it turns into six points the other way. Disastrous. And many people think you should just go ahead and knock it down in that situation. Turn it over for the offense. But I had a defensive coordinator recently tell me, we see that as a passive play. We hey, bro, you think I ain't know you was about to do that shit? You've been doing that same play the whole game. It's the exact right play to do. I knew you was about to do. Thank you. Maybe you hadn't been taught. With your sweet ass team. Sweet that team don't mean shit with a side ass player. And he probably should have stayed in the end zone as he'll muster a return up to only the 14 yard line. The Ravens offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right? Good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last that didn't bother you too much last time? No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. Now it's Elway. He's got time. Now he steps away. Thrown across his body, and it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. So they take over not only in enemy territory.